Welcome to my fish room. Okay, we just picked up our salt or our salt free bread. We buy 10, 12, we buy 11 loaves and 12 buns and it's 33.50 with tax and everything. And uh, then I take it home and I put it in the freezer. I get it made up here at the uh, Palm Balance State Bakery. Let's see what we can get from there. Okay, there's the Palm Balance Bakery, their website. It's roughly near Keel and uh, Major Mackenzie here in uh, the Toronto area. Well, north of Toronto, it's Richmond Hill. But uh, I watched Marketplace, uh, the show we have uh, investigative. Uh, they research all sorts of stuff. Like if people are getting ripped off or whatever. And they gave a bunch of people uh, pee jumps and uh, did a 24 hour pee test on them. And we found out that we're sucking back way too much sodium. So, uh, I don't know, for some reason I got inspired to eliminate as much salt from my diet as I could. So I went into the grocery store and uh, looked at the salt content of regular bread and it's like, oh man, if I eat four sandwiches, I'm pretty much pushing it. Um, you know, luncheon meat, bread, etc. So then I went down to the uh, Loblaws store at Jarvis and uh, uh, Front Street. No, Queen's Key. Queen's Key and Jarvis. And they got this health food uh, section. Low sodium bread, 60 milligrams per serving. One slice equals one serving. Okay, well, that's better than the 180 to 200 and something that the other bread was. But then they had the, that was $6.99 or $5.99. It was either six bucks or seven bucks, whatever. So then I went to the, uh, uh, best value oriental grocery store at uh, Martin Grove and uh, oh, John Garland okay and they had the tasty brand Philippine milk bread and it's 80 milligrams of sodium per serving which is two slices but the problem is they got more sugar in it because it's uh, sweetened bread but that was that was better so then I got thinking they I had a customer up here like Dr. DiCarlo and no he doesn't look after my teeth um, <laughs> that's why I tell people he doesn't look after my date. Uh, I don't go to my dentist as much as he wants. But anyhow, beside the point. And uh, Pompalense Bakery, I've got to know them over the years. Because, you know, I stop in and get something every now and again. They make a veal sandwich like, oh, you get the hot peppers and the grilled mushrooms and onions. And oh, oh it's good. It's all soft and everything. So anyhow, I asked the... Uh, Fatima, if she could make me some bread with as low a salt as possible. So her husband said he could go and try her. And he couldn't guarantee me no salt because they weren't sure it could rise at all. But uh, he did some experimenting and he came up with salt-free bread. Now it is brown bread. You can't do it with white bread. Uh, apparently salt keeps the white bread from cracking too bad. But uh, I went online and Apparently down in the States, Trader Joe's and uh, other places have low sodium stuff. But in Canada, yeah, there ain't much. But uh, eh, I take my bread home, I put her in the freezer, and uh, I cook mostly my own meats. You know, beef and chicken and ham, pork. Well, not ham because it's got so much salt in it. Today I'm going to go to the grocery store and buy pork belly because I want to try making my own bacon. Because that way you stay away from the nitrates. And you stay away from the sodium. But I'm not sure how well it's going to work. But we're going to give her a shot. Why not? I like to cook. I'm pretty good at it. So anyhow, that's part of my little salt-free uh, expedition. All right.